Toronto FC versus Kansas City, Saturday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, live on Gold TV Canada with a pregame show at 4 p.m. with Dan Dunleavy and crew. Dan, you'll have the game as well. Now, Kansas City is a team that Paul Mariner made his coaching debut against. Yeah. A lot has changed since then, and the team, well, both teams really are a lot stronger. Kansas City especially holding on to that first place spot in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, can't, they haven't slowed down, have they, since no. we last saw them. It was a 2-0 win over Toronto FC, and they scored early against Toronto, and they held on for the victory. And you take a look at the fact that Kai Kamara didn't score in that game. Teal Bunbury was pretty much kept in check, but, you know, see C.J. Sapong, for me, in that game was a pretty dangerous player. And, uh, you know, Peter Vermees just has a club right now that even though that they have some guys that are knocked up, the depth on the team and the players that they brought in recently, they've just really continued, a, you know, a process of, of building a real solid franchise here. And it, it seems to be ever since they got that new stadium that they, they started putting all these pieces together and coming off the U.S. Open Cup championship as well and the way in which and the manner in which they won that game, it's even given them more confidence and a taste. And when I watched that game, I thought, you know, I, just, I, I pictured Kansas City in the championship match in the MLS Cup final and thought, you know, this could be a real, uh, uh, you know, predecessor to, to what we'll see later in the season for this team. So they're a real threat. I love their pace to the game. They're the most exciting team for me to watch in MLS uh, just because of the way they play. But they can play that way because, as you mentioned, the personnel that they have. That's right. And uh, winning the U.S. Open Cup also gives Kansas City a chance at the Champions League, the 2013-14 edition. And they'll be an exciting team to watch. And they're loading up on depth, as you've mentioned. Oriol Rosell, the former Barcelona B player, now part of the squad. And also coming in as a versatile defender in Navin Markovic. Well, and you said the magic word right there, versatile. And we know Paul Mariners looking for versatile players. Uh, you need players that can play, whether it be in a midfield or defensive position, whether you need them on the outside or the inside. And, and certainly from what I've read and as you have as well, uh, great resource if you go to the, the MLS website and check out the Kansas City page. Uh, you'll see the comments that Peter's made about uh, Markovic and the fact that they like the fact they can plug him in wherever, and he's willing to do that. And when you have a good thing going and when you have the kind of talent they have up front, when you can start plugging uh, other talented players or workmanlike players into any role, and they'll accept it and do what you ask of them. They become a very dangerous club. And of course, we haven't even talked about Jimmy Nielsen and goal. And you know, I watched that U.S. Open Cup final, and he, he, you knew he was getting in the heads of the players uh, uh, that he was playing against in, in set pieces and in the penalty kicks. So you know, he's good at that too. He, he plays mind games from back there in goal for Kansas City. So we can't forget his effectiveness. Well, the Kansas City page will have all that information, as will TorontoFC.ca, which will have all the interviews from today's training session right there on Toronto FC TV. The match once again on Gold TV Canada at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday with Dan Dan Levy and company. Anybody in the booth with you? No, but I think Terry Dunfield one day would make a great broadcaster. I'm just not sure he's willing to do that yet. Maybe not yet, but may give him a couple of years. He'll be right there. Right, Terry? Yep. Okay. On Twitter, use hashtag TFC Live to join the conversation. The match again, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Gold TV Canada. Dan Dunleavy, Asif Hossein. We'll see you soon.